Welcome. My friend Vicki has joined me today to help with antiquing. Antiquing is a process that you do in order to give your pieces more depth and more interest. And I'm going to do mine the recommended way because I have base coated this piece uh, with a, an acrylic. And that's very easy. We've done in this before. I have my water here. I wash out my brush. And I'm taking and we're taking the acrylic and we're brushing it on and we're brushing it until it's dry so that it's nice and smooth. If you don't brush it until it's dry, then um, you can have brush marks, lumps, all kinds of things that don't look pretty when you're done. So that's how you base coat, which is very simple. And I'm gonna put this aside now and wash out my brush. What I have here is one that has been base coated and sprayed. I don't want to have to work too hard to take off the antiquing, so I have base coated and sprayed. So what did you do with yours? Nothing. Nothing? I did nothing. So we'll find out what how, how this works. I haven't sprayed it. I haven't painted it. Okay. So we'll put antiquing on and see what the difference is, okay. how it looks. All right. So now. We've taken, we're going to apply the antiquing onto the piece. And especially when you're doing larger pieces, you don't want to do much more of an area than what I have done here. And then wipe it with a, a cloth. And as you can see, what it does is it keeps it in the crevices. Okay? And gives it that look that gives us a little more interest. It's prettier. Yours coming off. A little less darker than yours. And a lot darker than mine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we kind of expected it, but we had to try. Of course. Never a lot of people tell. think you can just pick up a piece and start antiquing. Uh, that doesn't work very good because then you end up with having it darker and you're actually not able to take off as much as you'd like to. Antiquing is an oil-based product. Oil-based meaning that you, in order to work with it, you need to have some terpenoid. And we have a small container of terpenoid in front of us. And that's used to take off any excess that we might have. Why I Spray mine is because I want to be able to take off any of the antiquing that I don't desire on the piece. I wonder if Turp will work on mine. I'm going to try. I think you need to try it. You're kind of ugly over there. Sorry. Yeah. It's the day. Okay. Now you can see it doesn't take off very much, does it? Nope. Do you know why? Because I don't have a base coat and I didn't spray it. You didn't spray it. But the clay Probably is why. And the cl clay it's soaking is porous. In. The clay is porous. So we want them. This is our turpentine. Isn't he cute? He is cute. Anyway. That little baby face. Gerber baby. I'm going to take my rag and just dip it lightly into there. Squeezing out all the excess. So I just have a light amount on there. And as you can see, if I want to, I can pretty much take off all that I want to. Leaving it in the cracks and the crevices and the details so that it looks... And when we put the another type of product over the top of it, it gives it more distinction, more depth to it. We want to be able to 
see the eyes and mouth and all the expression on faces and different things. So we, like I said, we, we wipe down. I think I'm working harder than you are. I'm sorry. <laughs> not really. <laughs> really not. I have to rub mine a lot. There. No, that's okay. Are you getting any of it off? A little. Not much. But not much. And you can definitely tell where it's soaked in and where it doesn't soak in. Yeah, he's a little lopsided on his color. See? Ew. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's not very I was not a nice comment. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're trying. I'm trying, but okay. he's, he's kind of... See, now this little guy is ready for me to spray it and fix the antiquing. Mine has more of a tan. Oh, he was in the sun a long time. At least he's not red. No. He's not sunburned. But this one is ready, and what we can do with this one is we can actually use a um, translucent, a chalk, anything that ha it has a translucency so that it will show the, the veining and the detail on it. Now, even though our antiquing is an oil base and is cleaned up with turpinoid, the brushes and things are water cleanup. A lot of our oils today have been changed to a water cleanup. So that part of it is very, very advantageous. So now you can go and get your things and prepare them for whatever technique you want to use them. And I hope you have fun doing it. Now, would you like like us on Facebook? Join us on Facebook. Like us, like us on Instagram. Visit our visit our YouTube videos. Also visit our website at gemsceramic.com. Thank you for watching. You're talking because you're doing something. I'm not doing a damn thing yet. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yes. Fun just to put a little humor into the whole process, <laughs> Again, are you guys ready? <laughs>